or it's a beautiful Friday afternoon and it's leg day. That's right, boys and girls. You don't take Fridays off. You want gains, you get in there and get after it on Friday. We're gonna do some legs, legs, more legs, squats, squats, and more squats. So let's go. So for squats, I quit doing uh, just like treadmill, bicycle, I quit doing that crap. And I started doing functional movements for a proper warm up. Uh, you do them right, you get you definitely get a pump, you get a little sweat going. Uh, I just did this little routine. Uh, you get ready to watch, and that's what I like to do. I do two rounds of what you're getting ready to see. Now it's in uh, now twice twice regular speed, uh, just so you can get through it quickly. But uh, I do a light leg extensions, about 15 rep range, just get some blood pumping, and then I do a series of dynamic stretches uh, with my legs, leg swings uh, from different angles. Uh, do some twisting body movements, uh, all dynamic stretches to get your body, get your blood flowing, uh, loosen up all your li ligaments, tendons, all over your body. And uh, as you can see, I'm uh, I'm a little winded right here from doing, it takes like six or eight minutes, man, to, to do two rounds of what I'm getting ready to show you. So uh, check this out. I think you get a better warm up for doing uh, squats and legs. Now I had to go get the goods right here for when you're gonna do work, man. I had to get the goods, I had to get my, my belt, my knee wraps, the squats day. You better get these. Plus I got my shaker. And uh, now I'm headed to the squat rack where the work begins. Getting warmed up with this 135, just getting a set of 10, nice, slow and steady, move up to 185, and then start to do some work. All right, that wasn't too bad, but fixing to move on up to the 275. That's a lot for 150. So I'm gonna wrap my knees, check this out, wrap my knees before I get going.
Whew. So five sets, five by five, five sets of five reps on that 275. Before I hear it, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not perfect on squats, my form, it's not perfect. Uh, but I keep my toes pointing straight. I don't go past parallel. I try to get as far down as I can. Um, but I do wear the knee wraps. Uh, really helps with the heavier weight. And you only wanna have bone when you're doing it. Take them off in between each set. Uh, same thing for your belt. You don't wanna increase your blood pressure too much on either point of your body. So that's one little tip. Um, but we're not done with squats. Not a That's all I can say. That's all I can say. But I'm not done. Goodbye, squat rack. Hit them 20. Then I did two, uh, three more sets of only 15. That's all I could get out of 135, dude. My legs are far, don't far. I got, I mean, I'm walking a little wobbly, if you couldn't tell right now. But now I got a little something, something I always do at the end. Kind of flush the legs out. Here we go, move it over. That's right, have a seat. Doing this seated bike. doing the seated bike for at least five minutes. I mean, if you want to do 10, you can do 10. I just think at least five at the end of your heavy leg workout helps flush out that crapola, gets uh, get all that lactic acid from building up too much. Uh, but that's it, dude, that was it. Squat, squats, and more squats. Uh, we had uh, essentially 10 working sets, three warm-up sets. I did that, that full six, eight minute warm-up uh, that I showed you at the beginning. Now finishing up with this five minute bike at the end. And it's not just regular bike. Um, yeah, I've got pretty heavy resistance on here. Um, you don't wanna just go through the motions you get put your shelf and resistance on there. But one other tip is that you can see that foot strap. Make sure you put that foot strap and cinch it down tight so you can get uh, resistance when you're pulling and pushing at the same time. That's a big deal, uh, in my opinion, to get the most of your bike and stay in balance. And I like the seated bike better because the old school bike over there feels like I got a foot in my nuts uh, the whole time I'm on it. And I don't like that. So I hope you enjoy my Squatopotamus workout and uh, be sure to comment down there and let me know what else you want to see me do. And again, no two workouts I do are the same, so you never know what's, what you're going to see here. Peace.